So today we're going to bring in some other objects that, uh, that our basketball is going to have to avoid. So basically these are going to be uh, not controlled by the player. You as the player control the basketball with the arrows. We're going to bring in other things that move on their own. So I'm going to first have to add another new sprite. And I'll call this uh, SPR. I'm going to call this Meteor. We're going to have Meteor-looking type things in here. And I'm going to bring in, let's say, an orange stone to have to avoid. So that's the sprite. Now I have to make another object. This is going to be called OBJ underscore Meteor. And we're going to use that same sprite. I am going to make this solid. And at this point, remember, I can give it actions and events. We, last time, we had the keyboard controlling. This time, it's not going to work that way. This time, for this stone, what we're going to do is we're going to have this stone, when it's created, it's going to automatically start moving left or right at a speed of, let's say, three. Okay, so the creation is the event. So whenever one of these stones is created, it's going to automatically start moving. Okay, that presents a little issue for us right now. In this case, we don't have any, any uh, walls in the room. So at some point, the objects are going to leave the room, which is going to cause a problem for a few reasons. One is that they'll just be gone. Secondly, even though they're off of the room, they're still taking up space in like the game's memory as if they exist. So it's like it leaves the room and it, it's as if it just keeps going and going and going and going, which we don't want. What we do want though is to add an event. This is under other. We're going to say when it goes outside of the room, we want it to do this, which is wrap the screen, meaning it's going to go over and then it's going to come back through the other side. Okay. We could ask it to do it both directions. If this moved randomly any direction, it would make sense to say both directions. In this case, we know it's only moving horizontally, so it's just going to go off the screen and come back on the other side. Okay? So I hit OK. Now <clears throat> I click OK here, and now I have this object. It's already kind of programmed to do something, but I do not have it in the room yet. I'm going to add it to our room. And here, the basketball is still selected. I'm going to change it to the meteor. And I'm going to put in a bunch of these randomly to have to deal with in our game. There are other ways to have them come in. You could have them spawned randomly, which we'll learn later. But right now, we don't know how to do that. But we do know how to click and put as many as we want on there for now. So now we're going to try the game out. And there it is. We have to avoid these, although the funny thing is we don't really have to avoid them because why? We don't, we don't have any lives. We didn't tell it that anything bad happens when they hit us or whatever, right? So we'll do that shortly. But for now, I just want you to understand how to add elements in that move on their own, wrap around the screen, etc. As you can imagine, we could also have things coming up and down and as we build more levels onto this game, we'll do things like that. But for now, I'm going to let you all try to get this far. 